الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين so he rents first well this is the way of the prophet it's an external practice symbolic of the internal purification process according to Islam the creator is with those who purify themselves Allahu Akbar Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Qul huallahu ahad We give thanks to the God, the Creator, Sustainer of all. We ask for guidance. It's just to remind us and to realign us and also to unify us. It's almost contradictory with the environment I'm living in and what I'm trying to, how I'm trying to live. I was brought up in the church. Christianity was my family's claimed faith, but I, I saw this massive inconsistency. Well, over five years ago, I, I didn't know anything about Islam, so I had to look up and find it. I embraced Islam before September 11, so it made it a little easier for, for two years, but people usually feel far more behind my back than to my face. In the Quran it says to fight those who fight you in the way they fight you. But don't go too far. Don't go beyond the boundaries. The jihad means struggling for what's right and best. So standing up for truth, standing up against the bullies through the jihad, fighting the lusts. The message of the prophets wasn't to run away from conflict. It was to, to deal with things. We must remember that David didn't run away from Goliath. I can see and have been able to see how graffiti, a lot of it has been taken and inspired from Islamic art. The Wan style, uh, I'm the wrapping around with the letters. I was born in Pakistan. I learned Pakistanese in Japan because I was raised there and we moved here to New Zealand. So I've pretty much been, you know, overseas all my life. Nuns for a scar out of modesty. I don't see America going into nunneries trying to liberate the nuns. I think a lot of the representation representation of Islam in the media is cultural. So majority of it is not it's not representing Islam, the religion. The media tends to hone in on the negative things, which obviously sells a lot more than the positive things. Hard mosques are set up around Auckland. I know that they have special areas for women, so they don't feel 
um, uncomfortable and easily. They are not certainly not allowed to not go in the main area of the mosque. Hijab is the covering, basically, of a male and a female in a lot of ways, not just your dress, but also your behaviour and how you act with other people. It's a form of submission to God. Most Muslims, uh, their life revolves around how they submit to God, the one God that they believe in. Men cover in a different way. There's different aspects of what they need to cover and how they need to behave. I guess when you're born Muslim, you don't really think about it much, but as you grow up, you make the choices in life, that's when you realise that that's what you want to be. And being Muslim is what I want to be, yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of Muslims, they don't open the doors for people to know what Muslims really are all about and what Islam is really about. So I think I'd open my doors for them to get to know me more. Yeah. One who serves the creator. That's the basic People call me up for what it means servant of compassion. I don't believe in a dictator in this country, but I believe that we return to where we come from. And through that comes accountability. Thank you.